Good morning, friends and fam. This morning, instead of my usual workout, Jim and I are taking Georgie out for a walk. <laughs> Try and walk for 45 minutes at least. It might be longer. So right now we're just going through our neighborhood. We're gonna go pick up something from a neighbor. Yeah. And then we're gonna head over onto a trail. Um, our neighborhood has this long walking trail that will go over to a really cool park. It's called Rio Vista Park in Peoria. And it's a really neat walk. So you can take your dogs or your bikes or skates or whatever, or just walk and take that trail. It actually goes pretty far. You can get, you can go to Phoenix from it, right, Jim? Yeah. You can take this trail all the way to somewhere down in Phoenix. Yes. And, uh, but we're not gonna go that far. We're gonna go to Rio Vista Park, which I don't know, might be like, how many miles do you think that would be round trip? A walk to Phoenix? For, no, from here to Rio Vista. Oh, it's probably going to be about a two mile, three mile. Mm -hmm. Maybe four miles. If not longer, it's four or five, I'm thinking. But, because I think it used to be four when we lived closer to it. Yeah, so, so we're at least another half mile away. It should be an, another mile. So maybe five mile walk. <laughs> anyway, so we're almost to our neighbor's house. Jim has to grab something from his buddy there. And then we'll be on our way. We'll check in then. Bye. Oh, later today, what do we have to do today? Um, my church has a Christmas party that we're gonna go to. And Tim and I are gonna be there helping to serve. So it should be pretty fun. And I'll see if I can get any footage of that. But I try not to view or do too many videos where there's a lot of people. So you never know if they want to be on camera. So we'll see what we can get out of that, but it should be a lot of fun other than that. We just have a relaxing Saturday. So I'll see you all later. Bye. So in between these houses is where this trail starts. You can go left. Alright, and as you can see, there's lots of bikers. Just get on the proper side of the trail. Red Rio Vista. This is how beautiful it is down here. So this is our residential side. And then over here we have what we call a wash here in Arizona. We have washes which are dry river beds. When it rains, they'll fill up and be like raging rivers. A lot of the coyotes live down here. So if you have cats, you should not let them be in the backyard because they can scale. Coyotes can jump six foot walls and get in your yard and eat up your pets. So you gotta keep them inside. But we're gonna go ahead and get our five mile walk on. Hope we make it without getting too tired out. At the Bell Road underpass. On our way to Rio Vista Park. girls and I got together to try something called Gypsy Pudding. It was made by one of my favorite YouTubers. Her name is Charity. She has a channel called Gypsy Wife Life where she does motivational cleaning, grocery hauls, cooking, day in the life, and get ready with me videos. You should definitely check her out and say hello.
ordered Gypsy Christmas Pudding. It says Caravan Conventions, I'm going home. Inside, Gypsy Christmas Pudding, I'm going home. Welch Romney, English Romney. Um, November 1969, we migrated to Rayville, Louisiana. Is LA Louisiana? Mm -hmm. For the winter, lots of family members living in RVs and mobile homes. Just before Thanksgiving celebrations, my mom, my aunts, and great aunts were gathering ingredients for the traditional Christmas pudding. I'm talking about five generations, and I know everyone on my father's side and every name on my mother's side. 150 years of women making these puddings for their Christmas tables. This is my mother's recipe. When she passed, my dad taught me how to mix the recipe and how to fold the mix properly to a specific texture. This time of year was a time of celebration in the Lord Jesus, the Christ. At times there wasn't much in hand. These women seemed to be at a contest. Who would make the best, sometimes the largest, but every mother had their own recipes passed down to them. I remember them outdoors cooking on wood fires in five gallon On Christmas day, the tables fit for a king would have the Christmas pudding. I don't know if it was good luck to them, but I'm sure it brought joy and blessings that gave them hope. Connected to faith with charity, love for all. If a family was slack, they all shared as one. Um, so it has the ingredients on the back and then she wrote, the joy of the Lord be with you, Merry Christmas 2021. Okay, so it has not corn. a coin on it, on the top. And it's a chocolate and Jamie wants that. What do you think it tastes like? She said it's not um, fruitcake. It's not a fruitcake, but it might be the buddy fruitcake. Mm. Definitely a fruitcake. No, it's not. It's a nut cake. Oh my gosh, smell that. Smell that. It smells like Christmas. Oh, it does. It smells like Christmas. Mmm. That's so spicy. Like spicy in a Christmas spice way. Can I have a flip on Christmas? Can I have walnuts in it? Mm. I think so, but just try a corner that just has a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't the whole thing is a nut. Mmm. Right? You've seen a check. If I die, an allergy attack. You have an EpiPen. It's expired. Good soup. And it's pudding, not soup. Why are we passing it around like communion, though? in our neighborhood that has all these lights put up and in front there's a button and it says push for snow so we're gonna try and go over here see if we can push the button for snow Supposed to eat it.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't it smell in Arizona? It smells good. Thank <laughs> you.